welcome back to Making Your Resume in Word series. We're ready to enter some data into our resume. We're going to start with the objective. These elements that are in brackets here have been set up as what are called click and type blocks. All you have to do is click on them and you'll see a blue bar behind them. That means that the whole area is now selected so you can just start typing. The text that's highlighted in blue is going to disappear and your text is going over the top. Now that we've created our objective, we are ready to go forward to professional highlights. If you don't want to use the words professional highlights, you can just select the words and type over the top. And now we need to enter our first field or area of achievement. Now we're ready to add our first job responsibility or achievement that is of note. We'll just click on each of these in turn and add some content. Now I've got two more fields or areas of achievement to go but I don't need the third one. If there's an element that you don't need, just click and drag over the top of it to select it. When I press the delete key, it will be removed. You can see that I've got an extra bullet point here. All I need to do is to press the backspace key to get rid of it. Let's continue on with skills for now. You might notice here that this table cell is divided in two. We've got five items on the left and five on the right. I have eight items in total, so I've decided I don't need the bottom item in either of these table cells. So I'm going to click and drag to select the item I don't want and press the delete key. Again, I've got an extra bullet point here, so I'll press the backspace key. Again, I don't want this last one here. Drag over it to select it, press the delete key to remove it and press backspace to move back and remove that bullet point. When I hold my mouse pointer over that dashed line that divides the two cells, my mouse pointer changes shape. I'll just click and drag to the right. We're ready now to add employment history. I'll click on the job title to select it and then I'm just going to type over the top. Now I need to add the company name, city and state and now the dates of employment and then the next job title. We have more lines for job details than we need. I'm going to drag over the cells to select them. Up here on the toolbar you'll see I have table tools selected and I need the layout tab. And now what I need is this delete button here. I want to delete this row so I'm going to select delete rows. And the row has now been removed. I'll go ahead now and finish entering just this little bit of data into the resume. In the next video we'll look at finishing off our resume.